Right, a quick test of my vermiculite fire bricks. They're made out of 12 parts vermiculite, 4 parts building sand, 2 parts cement, and 3 parts water. By volume, of course, not weight. Uh, right, build a small little furnace. This is the third video, third um, attempt at this. I'll actually find some proper aluminium from an old heatsink. Try and see if I can melt it. A small gap of the map there. Keep the heat in. Let the exhaust out. And a bit extra in front there. Here's my small aluminium heatsink. I've brought it off now, some memory chips or something, I think. Now free. Start a blowtorch. Not to self, buy one with a starter. Maximum. Tall, but the gas is coming outside now. That was a furnace, but seconds ago. Unpleasantly hot, but not too bad. A slight expansion of vermiculite there. It's still actually liquid in its own little bag. This is hot. It's not set the fire to a match. Yep, that'd burn you. Not amazingly hot though, not as hot as that is. That is hot. I feel how hot the um, aluminium is through there, but it's not bad at all. They are still slightly damp in places from where they've been out in the rain. They were made about a week ago now, I think. They are cured, just it's a bit damp as well. Because that's cool. Hmm. Not sure what conclusion to draw from that. I think. I do need a thin coat of cement on top though to stop the vermiculite expanding. But 
if not, another place.